The reason that I think writing about this really matters is are the stories that highlight how many different places, you know, it's like a choose your own adventure of how many places the system can go wrong without ever being held accountable at all. Um, one of the first stories I wrote about was about a guy who had sent a naked picture to himself and he was 17 and he was charged as an adult for having um, like nude pictures of a minor, which was him. So they chart, I mean, and just to me that was just like, I was like, why isn't this on the front page of the New York Times? This is insane. Right. But it's, it happens constantly, and there's no retribution for this. I mean, when we talk about forgiveness and retribution, like, it's not just that we're, we, we're so retributive to people in the system. It's that we have no retribution to the people, like, in, with, I mean, people going through the system. We have no retribution for the people in power. Um, and so to me, that has been, to, what has been important is to try to point out to people here are, the, here are the, you know, you elect your sheriff, right? You elect your DA, and you have the potential to elect someone who, you know, when you, when you know that they've done something like this, you cannot elect them next time. Right. Or you can, like, ask them about it. And that is starting to, that's starting it's to bubble up. It's starting to happen. It's amazing yeah. in the midterms. It's really yeah. exciting, yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Manhattan, elect a new DA next time. <laughs> um, yeah, but, ask your lawyer friends. That's what I do. Yeah, because like, yeah. Yeah, they know. Or not, whatever. Or not. But, <laughs> yeah. but, but it's just to say that, like, there is potential for this being a, a de democratic, accountable system, but we're not exercising it. Um, and so to me, that's what made me really want to get into this. Is, like,